This is the Mewtwo um, 99 watt hour portable charger or power bank. So this guy has four ports. It has two USB-C um, C ports that can do power delivery in or out. Um, and one of them can go out at 100 watts. The other one can go out at 60 watts. It has two USB-A ports. One of them is quick charge compatible. It'll do up to 18 watts. The other one is just five volts at three amps for 15 watts. And the total output out of all the ports at the same time is only 138 watts, which is a big number still. So I was sent this to review for free. If you wanted to purchase one, MSRP is $80, but I've seen it with a 30% off coupon, so it might be as cheap as $56 for you. So in the box, we have this little carrying bag. There's a couple of uh, pieces of paper. It does include a USB-C to C cable here. We'll have to test that and make sure it is a 5 amp cable, but I would assume they're giving you a 5 amp cable since this guy can give you 5 amps of current or a USB-C power delivery at 20 volts. So this is a brick. It's, you know, thick. It's pretty heavy. So it weighs in at more than a pound. It's 18.3 ounces or a half a kilogram. It's 518 grams. It's not hard to hold on to. Um, it fits in your hand well. And here are your four ports. It has a little plastic protective screen over the front. There's a button. When you push the button here, it tells me currently 70, which I'm assuming is a 70%. It has the ratings on the bottom, so in case you lose the box and don't have those, if you have a magnifying glass, you can read the ratings off the bottom. So this guy claims to be a 99 watt hour capacity. All right, the fastest input charging I've been able to get here is 97 watts. Um, you know, that might be limited by my charger, which is a 100 watt charger, might be limited slightly by the cable. It's hitting, I've seen five amps here, so I believe this is a five amp cable that they provided. Um, but basically, I'm gonna say that is pretty darn close to 100 watt input charging. So we're just gonna say, yeah, they, they've pretty much met that specification. So I've reset the watt hour timer right when this thing's charging at 75%. And we'll see how many watt hours it takes to go from 75 to 100%. So this guy's charging up, it's at uh, about 90%, 89% here. Um, and the rate has gone down, it's only taking in about 40 watts right now. So after it gets to about um, 80%, the charging rate does taper off. All right, we got this guy up to 100%. It took 28 watt hours, which tracks for about a quarter of the capacity. I have this guy plugged into a USB-A port. It's drawing three amps at five volts, just 15 watts. And we are keeping track of the total watt hours it's going to draw. It'll probably take it about six hours to totally exhaust this battery bank. So this is an overnight procedure. Okay, this guy has turned off and hit the button. It's flashing 0% at me, so it delivered 73 watt hours before it turned off. All right, I am charging it up from zero. I have reset the watt hour counter and we will see. All right, we're charged up to 100% and it took 89 watt hours to do that. So I'm going to say that this guy has a battery that is something less than 89 watt hours given inefficiencies in charging. So I'm not able to test getting a full 100 watts out of this guy. Um, I have a laptop attached to it. It's drawing 57.9, 58 watts at the 20 volt level. I have another laptop attached here that's currently drawing 48 watts. So it's definitely putting out more than 100 watts total over the two plugs. And I've seen it charge at almost 100 watts. So I'm assuming that the 100 watt output will be able to put out power at the same rate because I've never seen a device that can charge um, faster than it can put power out. So I'm gonna turn on the CPU on this laptop over here um, and this is on the 60 watt plug. And so I'm pulling about 55 watts out of that 60 watt plug. And the 100 watt plug, I'm getting about 58 watts right now. Um, so, you know, definitely doing about 100 and 
1013 watts total out of this guy. I'm going to actually unplug one of these and it'll renegotiate just on the single plug here um, and see if that goes any higher. I think I'm being limited by my laptop. So yeah, it's still at 58. So essentially I can tell you that the two USB-C ports will put out um, you know, more than 100 watts of power when they're both being used. Um, I have not been able to test the 100 watt plug at the full 100 watts. The 60 watt plug, I'm getting 55 out here, so that's pretty close. I don't think this laptop would draw any more, but let me give it a shot. So I'm actually getting 69 watts out of the 60 watt plug there. Let me try the 100 watt by itself. So yeah, I'm getting 70 watts now out of this guy. Um, so it looks like when you plug in a second laptop to one of the, the USB-C ports, it reduces power to the first primary port just a little bit. So instead of, you know, 70 watts, I'm limited here to about 60 watts. Um, but on the other port, I'm taking out 50 some watts. And the other thing I want to test here is I have 20 volts at 57 watts coming out of the USB-C port and I'm going to be drawing 15 watts out of the USB-A port and so this guy doesn't drop down, doesn't change voltage levels so I'm able to get a uh, 5 volt at 3 amp out of the USB-A port while charging at almost 60 watts on the USB-C port and this is limited by what the laptop is drawing I believe. So I had this little fitness band attached and charging, and it was only drawing like 0.2 watts, which is not enough to keep this guy going normally. So it does have a feature for charging low current devices. Um, when you have it turned on here, if you double press the switch, it'll do this kind of CD or you know bracket bracket indication. And when it has that bracket bracket thing showing, so it says you know here's the 100% charge and then the bracket bracket. Um, when that's set up, it will not turn off. So you can have devices like this plugged in. It's taking 0.13 watts. Um, you know, so it, it's a very small power draw here, 0 0.024 amps. Um, but when it's in that mode for low current devices it will stay on and just keep charging them. Um, I think it might have something like an eight hour timeout, but it's enough time to charge up most of these devices. So if you have the ear pods or you know, watches or little fitness bands or anything that takes a low power device, um, you just double tap that button and it will put it into that bracket bracket mode and it just stays on. Now to get it off, you push and hold the power button um, and it will turn off. I've charged this guy up to 100%. Um, last time we discharged it all the way with a five volt load at basically 15 watts. Today, we're going to discharge it using a laptop that's gonna be drawing significantly more than that at 20 volts. All right, so this laptop is drawing 69 watts and it's at the 20 volt level USB-C power delivery. So we're going to run this down until it goes empty and see how many watt hours it's able to generate at the 20 volt level. So this guy has been pushing, you know, 50 to 60 watts into my laptop for a decent amount of time. It's down to 82% here um, and right now, I really can barely detect any warmth. There might be just a little bit of warmth right up in here, but just like that's probably the spot where the power electronics sit, like the, the cells and the whole body here are, you know, basically cool to the touch. It's the same temperature as ambient. Um, so I'm actually quite impressed at how cool this thing is staying while it's putting out 50 some watts. This guy has been powering my laptop here. Um, and so far, it's put in 27 watts and it's relatively cool. There's one hot spot kind of on the bottom here and that must be where the power electronics are. But even so, it's, you know, 
barely not even 100 degrees Fahrenheit, you know, and my, my power monitor is actually a little bit warmer than the inside here. Um, so the rest of the case where the actual battery is, you know, this part here is actually kind of cool to the touch. You can see I'm leaving hot spots when I put my finger on it. So with the exception of the little bit where the power electronics are, um, this guy is quite cool. All right, this guy is flashing at 0% left. We're going to call it done. And it has delivered 76 watt hours over the entire run here. So in summary, the cable they provide with it is a 5 amp cable. And I have seen this guy charge at 97 watts through this 5 amp cable they provide. Um, I do not have a load that will draw a full 100 watts out of this 100 watt power delivery port. Um, the highest I've seen is 65 watts and that was limited by my laptop. But I have seen it do 60 some watts out of that port and 55 out of the other port at the same time. Um, so it will do, it claims, a maximum of 138 watts over all the ports. Ports. Um, and I've seen above 100 for the, the two ports there. Um, I appreciate the fact there's two of the USB-A ports. You have the quick charge capable port here and just regular 5 volt port there. Um, there's a lot of devices out there that come with kind of proprietary cables that have a USB-A port. So it's nice to have a couple of USB-A ports to, to power things. But this is really, you know, it's a big power bank. It's designed really, I think, for charging laptops, tablets, maybe for cell phones many times. Um, you know, it's kind of big, it's kind of heavy, it's kind of clunky. Um, they claim a 99 watt hour battery capacity when I'm charging this thing up from zero it gets up to about 90 watt hours of current going in or power going in um, so my guess is that the battery in there is probably closer to 85 watt hours I get very consistently 73 watt hours of power delivered out you know so there's some conversion inefficiencies but I think the total capacity of this guy is about 80 to 85 watt hours inside um, and delivering it'll deliver 70 three watt hours on a full charge. Um, build quality, it's plastic. It's nothing special. The faceplate doesn't look super fancy, but it has me all of the um, specifications that I can basically test with the exception of the battery capacity. It's a little lower, so I suspect it's probably that the cells are rated at 99 watt hours, but they're actually closer to 85 or so. Um, at this price point, that's just a little disappointing, but not horribly disappointing. You're still getting basically kind of a dollar per watt hour um, out of this device. So I wouldn't call it top of the line super brand name, but it's very functional. It does basically what it claims to do. Um, you know, you got the two USB-C power delivery ports where you can in or out, um, and then the two USB-A ports. So they're, you know, it can charge a lot of devices at, at the same time and do a pretty decent amount of power coming out of it. Um, so all in all, I'm pretty happy with this guy.